No slouch of a player. All right, I actually have a game that I need to play, uh, unfortunately. Um, I will be back on the mic later, but this match is honestly going to be exciting, exciting enough that it can commentate itself, so I'm sure you guys won't miss me too much. Alright, you got your boy Nintendo back. This is game two. Okay, so this Paolo got a game. Tranko's pretty, he's a pretty known Pikachu throughout Westchester. Really good, talented. As far as I'm seeing, I've never played him personally to really give more details. But I know this matchup for sure is definitely heavily for Pikachu's favor. Pa a lot of Paolo's that I know, they don't really like fighting small characters or any character that has a better and faster frame data than her. So, what I'm looking for for Paulo, I'm looking for like dash attack to cover like Pikachu's landing. Oh my god, but not recovering like that. Somehow gets away with it and with a back throw. Town of City's not going to do him justice just quite yet. Up air pressure. Down throw for the... Ooh, no, we just, we just want him off the stage. We're not playing anymore. Jab? Gotta love the benefits for Pikachu being really light. 
Oh my god. Uh, I see what he tried to do. He tried to grab him thinking that, you know, Pikachu's first aerial can just get grabbed, but that's not really how it works. The way how I keep track of this match is that Pikachu really does, like, a number. Like, he does, like, two aerials, and then he'll do something else as soon as he touches the ground. Just like that. He did, like, two aerials. C waited for the option as soon as he landed, baited out the down smash, and punished accordingly right there. And right now, C having a three-star, looking kind of dominant as I say it. Tranko definitely not going out without a fight, though. So if this C person is beating Tranko, this is really saying a lot. I've never heard of this player, honestly. Ooh. Nice jump call out. Gets the grab. Do we have those nair loops? No, we don't. But we got the good DI coming out from C. Down throw mix up to the back end. No, we're going to come back to the center stage. And I feel like I feel like Tranko has to, like, take his time at this point. You know, C, C's really abusing the fact that he wants to desperately come back to stage. Just like that. Moved, waited on an option, but tried to get a crazy read right there. Tranko not falling for it. But it's going to fall for the side B and C taking it with a 2-0 dominant victory right there. That's pretty interesting. And that's a losing